Welcome to Starfoam Manufacturing. My name is Spencer Stanley, and I'd love to have you come out and visit our facility. But if you can't make it, follow me on this video, and I'll show you how EPS is made. It all starts with steam, so let's check out our two boilers. Be careful, it's a little loud. These are our two full-time boilers. We run them independently of each other so we can always ensure the best quality and customer service for you guys. It all starts with steam, so these bad boys got to be running right. Let's go take a look at our raw material now. Other than having great equipment, we need to have great raw material. We source domestically and internationally for only the best raw material to make excellent EPS. This salt or sand-like substance is the first component to making EPS. The two factors in this are benzene and styrene monomer. We take it from its raw material, put it into one of our two pre-expander machines. From the pre-expander, it's set into our storage bin system for a minimum of 24 hours. And then from there, we're able to bring it to the mold and make you quality EPS. Let's check out the mold. As you can see, this is our block mold. We've just had a block come out of the mold, and man, it looks great. Our mold is fully customizable in two dimensions, the height and the back door for thickness. From here, it's gonna be cut and put into our off-gassing room to allow for the pentane and moisture to cure out of the block. We actually capture all of that pentane and burn it into oxygen for a better and cleaner environment. Come on, let's go check it out. This is our hot room where we let our foam age for a minimum of three to five days to give you the best possible product. It is really hot in here. I'm gonna get out, come on. After we've let the blocks age, we bring them into here, sort them by size and density for inventory purposes. Sometimes we'll take blocks and directly load them onto our trailers for our fabricators and other times we cut them down for specialty sizes and shapes. Let's go take a look at our cutting lines now. Here at the cutting lines, we have fully automated and manual lines. The manual lines, an operator will load a block, feed it through the conveyor belt, and once it reaches the hot wire, essentially melts the foam in order to slice it to your size needs. For the automated line, clamps, We'll pick up the block, recognize the block, lay it down, and through the auto setting wires, we'll cut to your specified needs. We utilize both of them because we never know how we can best service you until you let us know what's best for you. Let's go check out the lamination line where after we cut it, we laminate it. This lamination product that I've got behind me is used for commercial roofing, is used for residential wall board, and a vast amount of other products that we can make with this laminated skin sheets. Once our product has been laminated or cut from the other side, it's time to get it on the truck to bring it to you guys. Let's go check it out. We maintain, operate, and own our own fleet of trucks and trailers to ensure timely delivery to you because we know how important it is for you to have your product on time. The last thing that I want to share with you guys today is our zero waste policy. We recycle and reuse all of the scrap foam that doesn't get to make it onto these trucks and trailers. At Star Foam Manufacturing, we're committed to three things. Quality customer service, quality EPS, and just-in-time delivery. Contact your local sales rep today to schedule a tour. Shoot, I'd be happy to show you around myself. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.